I've had this video in my head, this idea for the last two days because something I've seen that's had me thinking all the last, what, 48 hours? And I'm, for you to understand, I'm gonna give you a, a, what got me thinking about this. Now, no, two days ago, um, it was the day after my son's birthday and me and his dad and an, another member of the family came with us for a walk. Um, nature walk, obviously everything's closed. So we thought a nice nature walk, you know, get some exercise, fresh air, la da da. Um, and then by the end of it, we got an ice cream with it, obviously just being after his birthday, it was a nice treat. Um, and there was a lady in front of me um, well dressed, two very stunning little like boy and girl, and obviously they wanted an ice cream. And she was stood there, she was trying to count out her pennies, um, and she's saying, oh, I don't know if I have enough for both. And I was going to offer to pay, but something inside of me stopped. Now, I'm not making this about me or the actual woman, it was the situation. What made me stop is the fact that she'd scurried around and I could feel that if I had gone to help her in that sense, I knew she would have got defensive because it felt like she was not used to this situation. So rather than embarrassing her, which I, I could feel that's what, even though I don't know for sure, the fact that she made her way to be able to get her son an ice cream and her daughter a nice lolly, I, I kind of felt like she'd done enough that she'd survive so that she wouldn't need any help. Okay, that's just me thinking about it, but still, I digress. But I chose to watch, and I don't know why, but I did. And got the ice creams, walked off, and then as I looked down, she was taking a picture of her kid, her kids, posing in front of the creek with the ice creams, happy, la la, whereas moments ago, I just saw her stressed whether or not she could afford these ice creams. And it got me thinking about disingenuousness. And I feel that's what's coming across at the moment. Like this situation of being disgenuine or want, not wanting to show our embarrassed side is what's going on in the world at the moment. Speaking as a white woman, I will never know what it's like to have that, um, have that, have the colour of my skin used against me. But I've always been genuine in the fact that I have always said I will never know. I will never know what it feels like to be in a situation where you're trying to sort it out and trying to be viewed as something different and making sure that you're okay and what's going on and just simply because of one thing. Now I know what you're thinking, how does colour relate to and disgenuineness related to the scene that I saw. Now, we're seeing a lot of stuff online at the moment, and a lot of my folks um, are speaking about Black Lives Matter and all that lot, and the conversation is great, but I've also seen a lot of people that want to speak about it and are being quite dis disingenuous about it. Not that they don't believe in the cause. I don't doubt they don't, they, they believe in ending racism, but they're still holding back for fear of either fear of being um, told that they're on the bandwagon, I've seen that quite a lot, or fear of what their own kind, because nobody wants to be cast out, right, um, would say. And it seems to be a common thing, like, if we don't believe in general, if we don't believe what people are saying, or we don't believe they're saying it's their full potential, there's always something off, always something off. We don't feel it's right, and that's where the backlash comes from. Whereas if you stand up for something you believe in and voice it to the best of your knowledge at that time, with the understanding that I am still learning, and I'm coming to you still learning, then we understand that you might not know what's going on, but you stand with that cause, or you stand with that person, or you stand for yourself, in, on the bias of that you are still learning and still trying to progress yourself through it. And we put these things up and out there when really to be able to connect and 
somebody who I know speaks about this quite a lot, but for me, connection is massive. I need to feel connected with people. And knowing that you put a glossy, lovely picture up, or you put the words up that say you support, or you do something, but you could say nothing, but your actions say you support every day. The actions that you do every day say that you are doing something. You don't need, to, and I've seen other people where they, they don't say something and they're being belittled for it. But the whole point is it comes in your actions. Your genuineness comes in your actions. Because when you speak the same words of something else, whether or not that's in full anger mode or, or calmness, the actions behind your body will say more about you being genuine within that cause than they will do any other time. If you're saying, yeah, I'm, I believe in this, and you're straight-laced, and yeah, and you're putting none of yourself in there, who's going to believe it? Who's going to believe you? Are you going to believe yourself? Do you believe your own words? Because your actions don't say so. And if your actions don't say so, how would you get anybody else to believe? And it's so weird how it's it just turned from watching a mum trying to find the money for an ice cream and next minute taking a look. Don't get me wrong, it was a lovely picture. From what I could see. Like, I can't see the cat. I was miles away. I couldn't see what was on the actual camera first. But, you know what I mean. And, but, in the same way as we see the highlight reel of a person's life, we see the highlight reel of what they believe or what they see or what they stand for or what they are about themselves, what is going on in their life. It's all a snapshot. But is it a genuine snapshot? I think it's about time we saw genuine snapshots. Today, I've had this in my head and I'm about to get sorted out to go for a run in the rain so I look like crap. But I feel this is an important cause. So I'm just speaking my truth and understanding that I am still in the process of learning, not just about myself, but about subjects I've never understood because I've never been through that situation. I support many causes, maybe because I don't go through it, but my family members do, or my friends do. Whether that be colour, gender, um, sexuality, anything. There's many things I believe in not because I'm going through it, but because I support others and I show that in my actions every day. And I'm not saying this is something for me to belittle you and tell you what you, you should and shouldn't do it. But whatever it is that you are standing for, put your full self into it. Don't hide behind a glossy picture. Don't, because we want to know you, not the glossy picture. We want to see what you stand for. And yes, what you have to say could be wrong, but be prepared to be wrong. Because if you're prepared to be wrong, you get to learn. If you're always right, what's new to learn? So yeah, I just, I wanted to get this out of my head because it was just like, ah. Um, so I think it's time that, yes, and I know your comments could be, you could have still given her the money, yes. But I know defensive woman when I see one. And I know what would have happened because technically she had the money, so it wouldn't have been an issue. Um, two, I learned a lesson from it. So even if I was wrong, again, even if I was wrong to just stand there, um, I learned from that situation. And, and three, we don't we don't look for the, the, the limelight kind of stuff, the highlight kind of stuff doesn't last. You name me an influencer on a re re reality TV star from 10 years ago. It doesn't last because it's not genuine. We remember what's genuine. So in situations where we're seeing everything else coming up, like Black Lives Matter or anything to do with, with gender or anything like that, when it's genuine, it stands out. We stand behind it and we believe in it. And that's where the change comes because the change comes from the defensiveness of others. We know that we've hit a change when there's a defensiveness of others because it means that that genuineness is shining, shining a light on something that people didn't know and now they do. And they could be embarrassed, ashamed. They could be like enlightened. You have no idea because you have no idea what that effect is, but you were always 
when you're genuine about something and stand up against stand for something you're always standing against if you're wishy-washy you're not going to be either one so you've got to know what's going on between again i look like crap i'm sorry but i'm i had to get it out so if you like this video and you agree with me look you know what if i'm wrong hell tell me in the comments below if i'm wrong I want to know, I want to learn, I want you to teach me on a way that I could have been wrong. Give me another point of view. Show me information. Tell me where I'm wrong. Whether or not your, your opinion of what's wrong or right is always just your opinion. But in your bubble of opinion, you could teach me something I didn't know. So, if you like this, like, comment, subscribe, you know, share, you know, the usual, it's YouTube.